trying to finish up this A12 right now so we can film it. Uh, we're trying to beat daylight. Actually, the sun goes down pretty fast nowadays, so we have to get cars done earlier during the day. This A12 was supposed to be ready a couple days before. Unfortunately, with the sicknesses, with COVID, we had some staff leave, come back, that kind of stuff. So got a little bit delayed, but the wrap is finally done. We installed the titanium exhaust system. Um, I was actually under the car myself installing the wiring for the remote control system, which I need to do a few more things. Luis over there is helping me. Luis is helping me guide the line from inside to thing because he does all the easy work and I do the hard work, you guys already know. John is over there making out with the fender. Um, he's doing the Novatech suspension install, which I have the rear right here. This is the OEM rear. This is a Novatech system springs that goes and replaces this. So it's still going to be adjustable, but uh, rebound rate, all that is going to be right. Uh, this car is going to have the stock wheels, which they're actually nice wheels. We're going to space them out. I'm really excited for this one because it's an A12 and I think it's gonna look really clean with the lowering with this Nardo gray color and it's gonna be loud too. So hopefully we can finish it. guys we have this beautiful rolls royce dawn behind me this is a brand new one has about 90 miles on it car came from seattle all the way here customer loves our work and our quality and style of course we went back and forth with this customer to figure out what to do obviously the all white look is an amazing look on the dawns that we've done also the white and black traditional look looks cool even though i don't like to do the rolls royces with that really traditional white and all that blackout it kind of makes it look a little cheaper but we went with kind of a nice combination on this one this car came completely stock white with all chrome with the regular wheels all that stuff we went ahead and did a white and black out on it the front grille is all wrapped in white the emblem is black and white painted the spirit of excess is black little trim on the hood is black reflector is white little piece on the bumper is black obviously black 24 inch wheels fits great black and white side emblems that's painted custom door handles are wrapped white normally also with white on white you paint this for co uh, proper color matching however this is a white wrap that is like literally 95 percent color matching the car color so really cool there that we were able to do a, a wrap on those items window trims black of course all this used to be chrome this is the back of the convertible top this piece was actually black this was completely black leather customer didn't like the way it looked because it was like white black chrome so we went ahead and actually redid it in white leather matching the factory color this is that really bright white from rolls royce they have like the brightest white available so we went ahead and did the same thing so now all that is white looks incredible that little detail we over here have actually a mansory carbon fiber wing little spoiler the tail light surrounds are wrapped in gloss black the trunk trim is gloss black exhaust tips are gloss black that's a lot of stuff that you actually have to black out or white out on this car and of course it's slammed this is in low mode of course this is not the driving mode driving mode goes up a little bit more so it's a little more comfortable like this it would be very bouncy that's another rolls royce done you guys already know we've done so many this is honestly one of my favorites very very clean with the white and black usually i do all white but with this little mixture, I think it works very, very well. Let us know what you guys think. One more thing I want to talk about. Normally, I don't like, you know, talking about the negatives. But since you guys are going to probably see it on camera, this right here is actually a clear bra. The customer got a clear bra from Seattle. And unfortunately, they didn't cut it and stretch it the right way. And as you can see, it's already lifting in these areas. That doesn't look good. The customer wanted to leave it for now. We might adjust that later. But yeah, and as you can see here, it's cut lower than it's supposed to be. It's just not done right. So if you guys see anything on video with the clear bra wrong, just know that's not RDB quality.
how beautiful this interior is. All white and black. This is the number one convertible car that you could buy. Super luxurious and the interior looks amazing. Very comfortable. It's a nice setting of course and ultra luxury with the little chrome trims and the black and white. So of course drove it doesn't have a seatbelt on. So we're gonna cut it now. You guys already know Liberty Walk Aventador limited edition wide body. This car is very extreme. It is super low super cambered in and eventually while driving the car the tire blew up and pretty much broke a lot of things on it unfortunately but there's nothing we can't fix instead of ordering this stuff we're gonna be rebuilding it we're gonna make it better than new if we were to buy the kit again which you know they don't separate all the pieces probably spending at least 30 40 thousand dollars however we're gonna fix it fix it right it's gonna cost much less and it'll be back to normal again this is one of my favorite cars ever unfortunately it's it's too wild and extreme Anytime you have a little problem, it becomes kind of a bigger problem. That's just the perks of really highly modified cars. So we're gonna get back this guy on the road and it's gonna be good again in no time. standing in front of the McLaren 765LT. Right now we are tinting the car. We're gonna be installing a new set of wheels. Actually that came off another 720. So that's all we're gonna be doing to this for now. An exhaust system is being built for it. So that's gonna be the next step. But for now, wheels tint and this 765 is done. Um, we got a lot of awesome um, feedback for this car. It is a great looking car, it drives great. So more to come on the 765. guys um, got the a12 behind me we just got pulled over on scene getting here um, they saw the van they saw us recording they didn't like it very much uh, but they didn't give me a ticket so thank you LAPD the a12 is done in that beautiful Nardo gray color Moses is actually behind the camera right now because it's Friday it's late uh, we're finishing up the customer is at the shop waiting for us there you have it, the A12 looks amazing. Uh, we lowered on Novatech Springs. It's got a Rift titanium exhaust system with the on and off controls, of course. Um, and that Nardo Grey wrap looks amazing. That's all it's got, everything else is stock. A12 is a beast. This thing has no traction. Anytime you tap on the gas, it's such a beast. So if you guys enjoy that beautiful, beautiful A12. That's why you have the valve, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> 